Villagers, I've got villagers queued up over here or cached up over here. Um, oh, that's right. And I was going to try and breed more villagers using these guys, which was kind of good, good thought on my part. Um, however, you need in the current version one dot thirteen, you need sky access in order to get villagers to breed. Uh, so I've got potato guys here. I've got a couple of carrot guys in their carrot farms and I've got a few carrot guys over here because I seriously need to get this completed. <laughs> I kind of forgot about this, dropped the ball on it. Um, and <clears throat> that's right. And one of the villagers went missing. Um, entirely sure why but one of them did so uh but i need to get these completed and working and i need to test to make sure that they're still working under 1.14 um which may mean that i need to give the farmers in in the in the layers that i've got built here I may need to give them a workstation. I may need to give them a composter in one of the spots here. Oh, poison potato, uh, which is not the worst thing in the world, right? So I could actually, I've got water under here to hydrate. Uh, I've got, oh, that's a thought. Um, I've got four spots around the center there that are out of the range. They're hydrated, but they're out of the range of the light. And I've got, this guy here that's that's um, the the redstone there's a observer clock with redstone that's ticking these all of these uh, blocks around it uh, and then the guy comes and tries to plant and the lights too low and so it pops out immediately and I've got hoppers Hopper minecarts buried in the blocks there, so that it gets it picks up whatever is comes out um, faster than he can pick it up. So what I'm thinking is, I can put if if they need a, a workstation, I can maybe catty corner to the redstone bit. I'll just put a composter right there. And if they need to be able to go to their composter periodically, um, it'll be right there for them. Hopefully that works. I don't know. So, yeah. So I'll need to finish these up, which means, I mean, I built like four layers here and or four or... <clears throat> so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six... Hi, Mr. Bat. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got six layers here. So I was going to build eight. So I need a couple more, and I need to replace the guy who disappeared. Uh, which means... And these are potato. Oh, I got plenty of potato guys. Okay. Should totally be doable uh, with the resources I got here. Yeah, two more above this is worse. And I want to make sure that I cap it off at the top um, so that if the zombie does spawn somewhere nearby and then goes and says, oh, look, there are villagers over here, can't get down in and, and eat the villagers. Um, not, that, not that that's necessarily what happened here, but that's my working theory. And then I need to build the same stack over here with carrots for all my carrot guys, which means uh, this whole pen of <clears throat> potato farmers. Those guys are carrots, right? So these potato farmers, 
I'm going to need three of them. And then the other three, I'll need to move in here and clean them so that they have carrots. So that'll give me three, four, five carrot guys. And then I've got three more over here. That's eight. So that I have exactly enough villagers to complete those two farms. It's assuming they even work on 1.14. I should test that. Um, <clears throat> I have one bed over here. Right here. I will probably get rid of this or move it up into one of the chambers up there. Like move it up into the king's chamber. Not super convenient, but day night inside the pyramid here doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah. So... All the farms here are still pretty much working. Slime farm, look, there's slimes. And so that means I've got shulker boxes filled with slime balls. Um, and I've got, oh, okay, nice. Um, <clears throat> sheep farm, not super convenient and probably will need to be replaced or will, re I probably will replace it because they've got a whole thing now where uh, you can put a shear inside a dispenser and shear a sheep, just like a modded. Okay, that's that sounds kind of cool. So probably we'll design a new farm belt around that. More cactus than anybody could ever possibly use, I think. Um, still a fair amount of ink sacks, even though this farm does not work anymore. Um, and then sugar cane and this farmer's doing things so then all potatoes and carrots so it's pretty good um so i think with the new villager breeding situation uh, i think i can actually get these guys to breed here inside the pyramid um and i mean i just counted with with Basically, all of these guys over here, him, him, all these, and all three of these, they're, they're earmarked to go into these farms. Why would I want to breed more villagers over here? Well, I just so happen to have a village over here. So this was a desert village, naturally generated, and it ended up being inside the pyramid. I put everything up on stilts. Um, I took off all the doors because I didn't want it actually counting as a village. However, because there's no sky access, none of the doors here would count anyway. Um, so what I want to do is I want to turn this into an actual village. So what I'm thinking is like all these little houses, I'm going to lower them. It's going to be a pain in the butt, but I want to get these all down to the floor. Or I could landscape this back up and put the, like the, the hills and whatnot in, but I... I think I just want to lower all this stuff, um, <clears throat> including Lava, the blacksmith here. Empty, empty chest. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. And then with beds inside these buildings, villagers should stick around because it'll count as a village and these will be their homes. I just need to have enough beds for everyone. And then they'll breed up to match the number of beds. And I could extend it. I could build more houses like over here. And I could build bigger houses with more beds. So I can have a population of villagers just running around inside the pyramid. I don't think that's going to cause a problem. Um, <clears throat> and I'll farmers, so I'll have little compost bins on the... Oh, did I not include a way to get up the little farms? Okay whatever um so yeah this is uh they'll they'll sit around they'll do their farming and um yeah they'll just do their thing i think that'd be really cool and then because cats my plan was always to have cats inside the pyramid and i was going to go through a, quite a bit of trouble the plan at least was to go through a bunch of trouble to get wild cats, get ocelots in here. This is the center of the pyramid. Uh, so, so I brought over Mr. Miffles here. He was going to be my first inhabitant. 
Hi, bunnies. Oh, gosh. Um, <clears throat> but, of course, Mr. Miffles is a cat. He's not an ocelot. And now, ocelots and cats are in 1.14 are different things. Ooh, glass. I'm going to need that. Uh, they're different things. Um, so, and my understanding is that cats, wild cats, will spawn inside a village. So once I get this turned back into a village with the beds and all that good stuff, then I should have cats in here. So I should have cats roaming around, which was always kind of the intention. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, so as, again, I'll put my bed up here. Actually, I could just use one of those beds when I needed to. So I can just get rid of this bed. And then, I mean, I only had the bed here really so that I could come inside and sleep while I was out trying to, when I was building the pyramid and when I was outside trying to light things up. So, so yeah, um, so my to-do list in here is I need to finish these two farms. I need to build them out. It's a little tedious, but they go fairly quickly, so it shouldn't take that long. Uh, then I need to get, um, I need to clean some of these guys of their potatoes and get them, turn them into carrot farmers. And, uh, yeah, and then make sure that I cap these off so that they are not exposed to mobs in the event that mobs show up. These guys will not be anywhere near beds, so these won't count as villages. They'll just be villagers that are trapped and doing their thing. Hopefully, I don't need to provide them beds. Um, but, again, we'll have to... I need to test these in 1.14. And then that should pretty much be what I need to do with... Oh, and then, of course, I want to lower these buildings, which is a bit of a pain. <clears throat> but that can be done post 1.14, and then I can build a villager breeder with these guys. Or I could just bring these guys over into the village and let them loose. And in theory, they should then attach to this village and, uh, and then say, Hey, look, there's all these empty beds. Let's make babies. Okay. So there we go. That's that's all the villager plans, uh, <laughs> as if there weren't enough. So, yeah. So uh, this all needs to happen before we update to 1.14. Because um, <clears throat> these guys just had a thought. I think I am going to have to put uh, composters in inside each layer here so that these farmers remain farmers because if they don't have a if they don't have a workstation nearby they can lose their profession that's not good okay never mind we will we will sort it out and then yeah so i think that'll be pretty cool I, i'm looking forward to having villagers and cats running around inside the pyramid here um, cause the, the Egyptians, they liked cats, right? Bunnies. And obviously a bunny farm wouldn't be a bad idea either. I've got plenty of them because they spawn on grass in here. So yeah. So if I, if I got rid of like these sheep are, these are my breeder sheep just so that I could populate that farm. If I got rid of the sheep here. Um, and then left the grass here. These bunnies would just spawn on the grass. Um, yeah. Could we bring in a dog and scare the bunnies? I don't know. Anyway, not important. So I think that's it. That's my, that's my to-do list. Uh, they're still in the crazy beta stage of 1.14 spigot. And I do not think that they've even, well, I don't know that they've started working on 1.14.3 spigot. Um, that's, so I, I think we're still a little ways from updating. No one seems to be too upset with the fact that we haven't updated yet because things are, well, oh, I just saw him spawn. Um, because things are, things are working the way they are. And I mean, I do want to get updated. There are things like having the, I call them disenchantment tables, 
where you can remove enchantments from enchanted items. Um, those look kind of cool. Uh, the fact that uh, slabs and stairs are more efficient in the crafting now. Uh, there's, some, there's some things like that that I would like to take advantage of. Um, <clears throat> but there's not really... Oh, foxes are really cute, so I wouldn't mind playing with the foxes. Um, oh. I wonder, that's something I'll have to play with. Maybe like a trapped fox. Could be, oh, we get rabbits to breed. And then you can give foxes like enchanted, you can, foxes can hold things in their mouths and use them. So you can give a fox a sword and the fox will go and kill other mobs with the sword and if you put looting on that sword you, they get the looting effect so we could put it in here to get like a rabbit farm like a rabbit's foot farm which I probably need to do with the witch farm um because I'd like to I'd like to be able to get all the as many as possible in the overworld all the basic um ingredients for for potion brewing all in one place at the witch farm that's the idea Hi. <clears throat> anyway, um, so I think that's it. Not really accomplishing much here, but I want to get that to-do list down and uh, have some goals to start working on and need to move one of the potato guys down in here so they can keep working. And, uh, and finish building up the next couple layers. So I think that's it. Um, blup. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's it. Nothing else. Um, nothing much has been going on. I'm supposed to be going to the Magic Castle this evening. We'll see... If that happens, uh, I have some friends who are not members of the castle, but they are friends with Rob Zabrecki, and he is performing at the castle this week. Ah, oh, it's just a trick of the light. Okay. I thought there was a... saw the bottom of the ladder lit up where the torch is there, and I thought that was a zombie pigman or something. It didn't make any sense. Uh, so we're supposed to go see Rob Zabrecki perform tonight in the parlor of Prestidigitation at the castle um the uh <clears throat> my membership application sponsor is also performing um brent garris he is performing in the peller so i i don't know what everyone's plan is since i'm going with friends but um you know i'm i'm thinking it would be nice to be able to catch brent's show in the peller and carissa hendrix uh, who performs as a character named Lucy Darling is performing in the palace uh, but it is a Saturday right now and Saturday nights can get kind of busy at the castle and we're not eating dinner there so we don't get when you eat dinner you get like preferential you know seating in line for the palace show so getting into the palace might be difficult I have never seen Carissa Hendricks perform live uh, i've seen her uh, on video but so it'd be nice to see her show uh, but again i don't know that's going to happen and this is one of the reasons i want to become a member because i could have gone on thursday when it's far less crowded and seen the shows uh just you know pop in to see oh let's see chris hendrix perform but that is uh I'm not yet a member, so that will happen eventually. And <clears throat> at that point, then I can sort of keep an eye on who's coming. And the other advantage of being a member is you get uh, the schedule of performers ahead of time. So right now, if you go to the Magic Castle website, you can only see who's performing this week. You can't see who's performing next week, for example. Um, and... 
members have access to the calendar for the next, at least the next few weeks. So I'd be able to look and see, oh, look, so-and-so's coming. Um, oh yeah. And the other, the other person performing uh, this week is uh, Jeff McBride. He's performing in the close-up room, which <clears throat> I don't normally associate him with close-up magic, but you know, he's a very talented magician and capable of doing quite a lot. And so I suspect he'll be just fine in the close-up room. And, uh, and so I have a bad feeling there's going to be a lot of people wanting to see him. He's probably the most famous person performing. Uh, him and, and Zabrecki are probably the two most famous magicians performing this week. So that's... Uh, So that might be a little, uh, it might make things a little bit crowded. Oh, that's right. And I have to do something with all this. That's right. I was going to dig a perimeter all the way to the edges of the, of the pyramid and then dig down. Okay. Lots of projects that need to be finished. Um, and my personal bed could also be down here. It's a little out of the way, but could do and not in the range of any villagers down here so all right i think that's it this is i've probably been i was thinking oh i'll just do it like a little 10 minute thing and it's probably recorded 35 minutes so let's see how long i've been recording 45 minutes okay so <laughs> okay that's that um so we will we will call this an episode even though i didn't do a whole lot on camera. We just wandered around and looked at things and built a little to-do list for the future before we update to 1.14, uh, which is pretty good. I think is important. So uh, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.